Okay, the next image we're going to work with is this uh, angel on the roof. This is the, at the entrance of Woodland Chapel. Um, so we're going to open this guy up. So file, open, find that angel drawing or angel photograph and open. So this part here is just going to be photography or photo manipulation. So we'll do a little bit of that. The other ones we, we used as a cleanup of, of the thing. Since this is just a photo, we're going to start to to clean this up a little bit. So if we go to File, uh, Auto Tone, basically Photoshop makes it fairly easy that if you use these three, Auto, auto Tone, Auto Contrast, Auto Color, it kind of corrects a lot of the image errors for you. If you don't have that, you can always adjust each of the settings uh, by hand or basically selecting what elements that you want to change. But really, if you use auto tone, image, auto contrast, and auto color, it kind of corrects a lot of the, 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 the image uh, inconsistencies for you. If you go to adjustment and go to levels or wait, we already did levels, so we'll do something else. Adjustment, uh, brightness, contrast. If we can do all these ourselves, but you know uh, it might not turn out as good unless you want a specific image look. Okay, so so let the auto contrast, auto tone, and um, and brightness stuff stuff do its work and. And let's keep this as an image. Just like previously, we want to change the image size so that we keep a consistent uh, resolution. So 150. And this thing was about 7 inches uh, wide. Or now we're going to change it to about 3 inches wide. Okay. So there it is. So it's changed this into a small, much smaller picture, but actually I'm going to try to use this as a background image. So as a background image, I need a lot more area. Okay, so what I might do is to, I change the image size to the correct resolution. Now I'm going to correct, or I, I'm going to set a canvas size to the size that I actually want. So for this, go ahead and select the white as your foreground or I might have to select it as a background we'll see okay so select from the eyedrop tool swatches select the white and make sure that that's showing up right there okay and then in the same image pull down menu instead of going to image size go to canvas size and if we go to canvas size, you'll find another dialog box. And it says right now that it is 3.33 inches, height is 2.5 inches. Okay, I understand that. Uh, the new size that I want is going to be the width of 8 inches. So you could type in 8. And the height is going to be 3.5. 3.5. Okay, inches. If I clicked on this relative, if I select, if I plug in one number, this number will automatically change for you. But I want to spe specify an actual size of this cam new canvas that I want. Okay, the anchor point right now is at the center. Basically, if I say OK right now, it's going to make a new canvas that is that is extended from the center out. For this one, I'm going to keep this angel at the very lower left-hand corner. So I'm going to select the lower left-hand corner and let everything go out from there. Canvas extension color, I put as a foreground, which is white. If I put the background, it's going to be black. So what I want to do for now, just to make my life a little bit easier, I guess, or yeah, so I can see what I've done, I'm going to change it to a foreground color, which is white and then say OK. And when I did OK, it should have made the canvas size bigger. Your image, your image itself has stayed the same. So you have all these white area showing that is now 
0 to 8 and 0 to 3.5.